This is an EVTOL flying over a lake in southern China. Three of them actually, and they're operational right now, doing emergency rescue demonstrations, coordinated flights, the whole lot. The company behind this is Autoflight, and they've partnered with CATL to build something nobody else has managed yet. The charging infrastructure to actually make these things work. I'm at Dianshan Lake in Kunshan, just outside Shanghai, to see the world's first zero carbon water vertiport. CATL, the battery company that supplies half the world's EVs, made a strategic investment in Autoflight back in August 2024. Today we're seeing what they've built together and they're going to fly it. So we're about to see a demonstration of this. This is the Auto Flight. It's the EVTOL, basically a, this massive drone uh, could be used for industrial use or passenger use. And this platform that we're on, on the middle of the lake, is brand new and we're gonna see this take off later today. Here's the thing about EVTOLs. EVTOLs? Hmm. Everyone's focused on making them fly but nobody solved how to charge them quickly enough to make them commercially useful. That's what this platform does. So this unique kind of electric floating dock that is actually moving on the, the lake as we are at the moment has solar panels embedded into the floor. So this is part of the whole charging infrastructure of this marine unit, I would say, which helps charge this as well. And I was just thinking about the scenarios that this could be used in. So, you know, pleasure trips, you could use it on a lake, you could use it for commuting, you could use it for emergency rescues, many, many uses. And uh, yeah, fascinating, again, seeing another kind of transport that we haven't really ever seen before. The platform is amazing. It can charge multiple aircraft. And that 15 minute battery swap, that's the same containerized system that CATL developed for their electric cargo vessels. They've already proven that it works. So behind me you can see the whole boat and this is what they're really showing off today. It's not just the EVTOL, but it's this boat, this whole unit. And you can see this being used for like those tourist trips I was saying earlier on, but this co-developed by CATL and has their batteries on the inside. And this is the really interesting thing, right? This has a battery capacity of 3,919 kilowatt hours and it can be battery swapped in theory in about 15 minutes. That's the plan for this in the future. So you could take these out and then refuel and then take it back out and then refuel and this is kind of this whole ecosystem. Autoflight has three models here. The White Shark is industrial grade. Carry All is the cargo variant. 400 kilograms payload, 2,000 kilogram maximum takeoff weight. And Prosperity the passenger model, six seats, 2,400 kilograms of max takeoff. Both the cargo and passenger models have a 200 kilometer range. So whilst we're walking around these different models over here, I just want to tell you about some of the stats of these. So I think there's two models here. They have about a maximum payload capacity or uh, carry capacity of about 2,000 to 2,400 kilograms. For me, the really interesting one is right in the back corner over here, which is this fire one, which has actually been used in fire situations. As you can imagine, um, flying into like forest fires, this has a capacity, I think, to extinguish a fire over 800 square meters. And of course, I think the range of these is around 200 kilometers, more or less. So as you can see, this one is a very important one. And I think I mentioned earlier, but these are all got CATL's batteries inside. It's the NCM batteries, the high density ones. It's not the super high density ones we've seen at the motor show a few years ago or in the factory, but yeah, this is very impressive stuff. CATL's contribution here is the battery system. They're using their NP technology, no thermal propagation. Basically, that means if one cell fails, the fire doesn't spread to the others. The same batteries also have the IP68 protection and they're designed for fast charging, 2C charge and discharge rate, which means you can fully charge in 30 minutes. Right, a lot of people will think maybe these are just not working concepts, but these are actually real, actual aircraft here. As you can see, very comfortable in here. There's four seats in the back, one for the driver in the front. This is a flying taxi, this is an actual flying taxi. And although this might seem like the future right now, 
this is probably only two or three years away from going into commercial reality and that is the most exciting thing this is going to become very normal very soon oh there's a screen here <laughs> Gonna go open it and see if we can sit on the inside. Traditional handle. Oh. And we go inside. There you go. There's a cockpit. There's your joystick. I'm not gonna take off today as much as I want to. Autoflight has identified five main use cases for this system. Energy platform maintenance for offshore wind farms and oil rigs, emergency rescue, which we're about to see, high frequency commuting between coastal cities, marine tourism, and mobile vertiport clusters where you network multiple platforms together. This demonstration is showing us the emergency rescue capability. So we've just seen the aircraft take off for the very first time on the water. The boat is out there now, it's going to meet it in a minute. What tremendous noise. It uses the propellers on the top to lift up and then the propellers on the back to make it go forward. It's an absolutely amazing thing to see. It's very futuristic and it's coming back now for a flight bus. Lion通过的掌四级即将完成精彩的交位 Checking this out, new technology from the future, have more of it coming up very, very soon.